If you've ever found yourself endlessly scrolling through Facebook, today we're going to talk about why social media is killing your career. So what's going on, guys? It's Josiah, your success strategist, and today I'm going to break down the top three reasons as to why social media is killing your career. Now, I know social media is one of the biggest phenomenons in modern history. It is one of the biggest advancements that has ever taken place since the internet was invented. And one of the most important things that you're going to have to do in this modern age is to know how to be able to balance your social media interactions as you're trying to grow your career. So let's get down into the top three things. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and be your brother's keeper and share this video. So the first thing that you wanna do is, you wanna come to the realization that social media is extremely addictive. If you don't already know that, either you're lying to yourself or you've yet to really step into the dark side. Social media is extremely addictive content that has been engineered and programmed to keep you on it all day. Now, how does this jeopardize your career opportunities? Well, for one, if you ever read this book by Cal Newport called Deep Work, it's a great read. I highly suggest it. Maybe I'll put a link to it in the uh, description below. Cal Newport talks about how a lot of times in order for you to accomplish something of greatness, you have to be focused for a very sustained period of time. You have to be able to do a lot of your best work um, in times of uninterrupted silence. But now we're living in an age where you're getting instant Facebook posts, instant tweets, instant DMs, all of these notifications being sent to your phones from all of these different platforms, right? As soon as we wake up, we check our phone the first thing to start off the day. And as soon as we engage with this content and get so absorbed into it, it becomes difficult for us to ever find the time to really be focused. Have you ever found yourself trying to focus and hone in on doing something, whether you were maybe writing something uh, on a Word document, or maybe you were writing something down on paper, or you were trying to study something, and then just within a few minutes time, you were checking uh, Facebook, you were checking your email, you were checking your text messages, all of these technology tools, they are being designed in such a way where it's going to keep our attention shifted. And if our attention is constantly being shifted on other things, we're never going to be able to produce our best work. You might feel like you're doing some work that's going to be able to help get you by, but you're never going to be able to get to world class if you really don't take the time to um, go hard and cancel out all the noise, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna put is, it's too addictive. I don't know, some of you guys are hating me right now because you're like, man, are you saying, Uzziah, that I can't have a Facebook account? Are you saying, Uzziah, that I can't be on Instagram? How would I even find you out if I didn't spend time on YouTube? Well, I'm not saying that you shouldn't spend any time on these platforms, but what I am telling you is that if you don't keep your social media appetite in check, eventually you're gonna find yourself being on it day and night. And a lot of times that's going to be time taken away from you doing your best work. I already know that you probably already feel where I'm coming from, but I'm just giving you the lowdown in today's video. It's gonna to be too addictive, not enough focus. If you wanna be able to accomplish something incredible, okay? Listen to me good. If you want to be able to escape average, if you don't want to do the things that average people do, if you want to be able to take your success to the next level, you've got to be extremely focused. You have to be relentlessly focused on what it is that you are trying to accomplish. And you're never going to be able to do the major things that you want to accomplish if every two or three minutes you're constantly being distracted by some other attention grabbing form of media. In this information age, we do not suffer from too few opportunities. 
in this day and age, we suffer from too many opportunities and it makes it very hard to actually focus and drill down on one key thing, one key principle that could change our life forever. So we find ourselves at a career loss because a lot of our brain power is being consumed by social media rather than our life's greatest work. Okay. So the second thing as to why social media is killing your career is, you know what? A lot of times we, especially in the black community in this black men's careers, just got to keep it honest with y'all. A lot of times we've seen situations where people are not mindful about what they post. You have to be mindful about what you post. Posting the wrong thing on a social media platform can walk you out of many opportunities. It can get many doors shut in your face. Oftentimes now, because we are shifting into such a social media world where 80% of people in first world countries are on social media platforms, we're finding ourselves at a time where now employers are checking our social media accounts to decide whether or not they want to give us employment. They will never come out and tell us many times that they're checking our Facebook account, that they may be checking our LinkedIn account or other respective platforms. But if we do not safeguard our social media content, we're going to find ourselves in a world of trouble. So I want to give you some ideas in terms of maybe some things that you should watch out for in the things that you post. Okay. So, um, don'ts in terms of posts. Okay. Negativity. We've all had that time where we've been on social media and we talked about how much we hated our job. We talked about how we hated our boss. We talked about how much we didn't want to be on the shift, but every now and then you have a boss that's actually looking at those posts. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, Uzziah, not me, not my boss. They're so old school. They're so outdated. They're so stupid. They wouldn't even know how to find me if they wanted to. But I'm telling you, as we are getting more and more technologically sound, this is becoming a stronger way of living for employers that are giving out jobs. If you talk about people or companies in a negative way, Bosses are going to be looking at that as a determination on whether or not you deserve to be employed. So negativity is one of the things that you should watch out for in your posts. OK, here's another thing. Another don't, especially if you're, you know, having a public account and you got your name on it and, you know, just make it super easy for people to be able to find who you are. The next thing that you need to watch out for is controversial topics. You know, a lot of you guys uh, might be talking about, you know, uh, the presidential election. A lot of you guys might be talking about things that are going on um, with the school shootings. Some of you guys might be talking about things as it pertains to uh, police brutality and all of these different social issues uh, that make us very passionate especially for those of us that have a certain consciousness of what happens within our community. When you speak about controversial topics at length, again, you're working for a person that may or may not share the exact same values as you. So you may be of a certain political affiliation, but your boss may be of something different. You may be apolitical. Politics is not your thing. And you make a point of it to, you know, make all of these comments that are speaking in a very derogatory way about the political system on your social media platforms. And then you go and hire, you know, then you go and submit your resume to an employer. And the first thing that they do is they type your name in, you know, in their system. And then all these social media accounts pop up that shows them what you have said about X, Y, and Z topic. You really need to make sure that you be careful with doing these things. Now, like I said, for myself personally, whenever I've indulged in this, I always kept in the back of my mind that I was going to be, 
getting out of the nine to five and having my own business. I always knew that I was going to have to will myself to be put in a position where I could write my own checks because I did not want to keep myself filtered around the clock. But even when I was working at a nine to five job, I had some discretion in terms of what things I should post, um, what type of uh, accounts that I should be setting up for myself. These are things that you can still control. You can you know, monitor the privacy settings that you have on your different social media channels. It's, this is not to take away the fun that you have you know, with your respective community, but it's just to make you aware of the fact that you could literally be having doors closed in your face and you would never know why. And you wonder why you're not getting the call back. And one of the reasons is because people are looking at your social media accounts and then they're looking at you and they're deciding that they don't want to bring you on into the company because you don't match the company culture. You don't match the company's values. And when you're finding yourself in a position where you're having to go out to all of these various communities and environments trying to go and get jobs, and then you stick out like a sore thumb because you're the black sheep or you're the oddball of the group, well, then people are going to be looking to see how well can you really fit in, okay? So again, that's another key point as well. Last and third don't is um, inappropriate photos, okay? Now, we could talk about inappropriate photos or even comments, um, these are all things that you have to really be mindful of, especially because of the fact that, you know, photos have a much um, stronger reach to be able to get in front of people's news feeds than text, right? Facebook and many of these other platforms use different algorithms that determines which type of posts should be at the top of your nose feed and which ones should kind of get ignored. And studies have shown that photos always will have a greater likelihood of being able to get in the front of someone's uh, social media channel. So you got to be mindful of the posts, the pictures that you're putting out before you know you go and add someone that might happen to work with you. <laughs> Even the coworkers. Sometimes you got coworkers that could be throwing you under the bus. You got to be mindful of everything that you post on social media. I, one of the things that you need to be thinking about is the newspaper test. If you post something um, on a social media platform, because by the way, whenever you post anything on a social media platform, you lose control of the ownership of what you put on that post. In fact, Mark Zuckerberg was just in court not too long ago when the authorities were looking into how much data that Facebook actually tracked from all of the users that hold Facebook accounts. So these social media platforms have a lot of private information um, in terms of your background. And the more that you go and solicit things on these platforms, the more you put yourself in a position of danger to get yourself in trouble. So just be on the lookout for that. I'm not telling you that you can't have a social media account. I have social media accounts and I tend to enjoy them from time to time in moderation, but you've got to be able to know how to be able to set these accounts up in the right way. Okay. And again, you want to think about the newspaper test. If you're making a post about something that you would not want to see on the front page of a news article concerning something that you did or said is best to not put it on social media at all, okay? So the third and final thing that I wanna talk about in today's uh, social media video is the mental misery that comes from social media. What do I mean when I mean the mental misery? It means all that time that you spend watching people's Facebook pages and other accounts, and you're finding yourself getting all of this little secret envy because you're seeing this person have this accomplishment, that person accomplish that great goal. By you putting yourself in a position where you're looking at other people's accomplishments and then you're 
comparing other people's accomplishments to yours, that could create a certain level of resentment in your own life that you could have totally saved yourself from if you just kept things a little bit more low profile. Y'all know what it's like. You be on Facebook stalking folks, looking at your ex-boyfriends, your ex-girlfriends. When you do all of that type of stuff, it starts to build little spirits in you <laughs> where you begin to sit back and kind of measure and keep score in such an obsessive way about what you're doing versus what everybody else is doing. And on some level, not only could that depress you um, and put you in a more miserable emotional state, that can also influence decisions that you may make uh, that are hasty, that are not actually beneficial to your long-term goal. So you could go on social media and you see somebody else driving a fancy car, and now you immediately want to drive a fancy car. And you kind of offset the different goals that you would have been able to accomplish in other areas if only you would have stayed focused on that goal. But because of the fact that you're following the Joneses and what they're doing on these online platforms, well, now the vision that God has given you to fulfill has now been sabotaged by, you know, the influences and the impressions and the peer pressure of everybody else. So I just want to throw that one in there, that mental misery is definitely one of those um, social ills that you want to be able to avoid. You know, there's nothing wrong with being able to keep in touch with folks and communicate with people that are in your social circle. But the true reality is, if you don't consciously make yourself aware of what you're posting and what your friends are posting on social media, you could find yourself applying for some of the best positions that you've really ever had. And you're going to uh, end up messing that up all because of the fact that you are not marketing yourself um, and giving yourself the proper pre presentation uh, that this job requires. A big part of just getting the job is making the right presentation, being the right image, giving the right representation of yourself so that way you look like the person that deserves the job, right? You look like the person that deserves that opportunity. If you don't look like the right person, it's going to be hard for you to ever step into that position, okay? So I want you to leave me a comment and I want you to get real honest with me. Which of these three killers, career killers based upon social media, are you guilty of? I know for myself personally, I found myself guilty of finding Facebook way too addictive Instagram way too addictive. You say that you're only going to go in there for five minutes. Somehow it turns into five hours, right? Some of you guys might be posting on stuff and talking on things and you ain't got no filter. Nothing is censored. You're putting everything out there and then you're wondering why it's hard for you to get employment. Third and final part, mental misery, right? Are you so busy comparing what you've got to what the next person's got and you begin to lose appreciation for all the gifts that God has given you, right? That has a negative, destructive impact on our career objectives as well. Because when we lose sight of the things that are our goals and our sincere aims, and we replace long-term visions with short-term impulses that just come by temptations of watching things that other people are doing online, that's when we find ourselves in trouble, okay? So leave me a comment. Let me know which of these three that you're guilty of. And don't be ashamed if you're guilty of all three. Now's the time for you to really examine this and really start to think about how you can make some key changes to put you in a better career position, okay? So please, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. This is where I'm giving out content for you guys every single day to help make you as successful as possible. I'm doing this for free because I want to see you accomplished. If you want to be able to learn more about how to be able to build an empire. Maybe you've decided for yourself, you know what? I don't want to filter what I have to say because I have a message that I want to be able to share with the world. I want to be able to speak my truth. Well, then what I will encourage you to do is download the empire below.
download the Empire Builder below. This is a free link that I'm giving to you to show you how to be able to get out of debt, how to be able to escape your nine to five job and start your own company all from scratch. I'm gonna be walking you through all of the things that I did when I was once working in corporate America and decided that I wanted to be able to make my way out. Just like you, I had a message that I wanted to be able to share with the world and I didn't want to keep it censored. So you gotta know how to be able to play the game. So click the link below to get into that empire builder all for free i'm gonna give you the tools that you need make sure that you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already to this youtube channel share this with a friend be your brother's keeper right don't leave this channel a secret it's important that every single one of us knows what we need to do in order to be successful all right so i'll see you on the next episode take care